Hey everybody, Coach Tanya here. Sorry, I usually get on at about 12.30, but I had a lunch date so with one of my coaches, so we ran a little past. We got to talking. Um, I had a great, great lunch date, so I just wanted to come to you guys with my thoughts today. I have a few thoughts, um, but to sum it up is stop and smell the roses. So how many times do you make sure you do that? What does stop and smell the roses mean? Hey, Renee. So for me, oh, I love that picture. Can you guys see the picture over my shoulder here from the wedding? God, the kids look so little. It's one of my favorite picture. So for me, stop and smell the roses means to take a moment, slow down, and enjoy everything. Um, time for you. These are all the things I think of when Somebody might say the phrase, stop and smell the roses. So, do you do that? Do you take time for yourself, like serious time for yourself? Like sit and really think if you take that time for yourself. And it doesn't necessarily have to be time to go spend money on yourself, like getting your nails done or getting your hair done. Yes, that's time for yourself, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, do you actually take time to spend time with you? Do you take a little bit of time each day to hang out with yourself and to think about your happiness and to think about the things that you want to do and think about your goals and to, you know, set, set goals? So you need to make sure you do time for that. And if for you, getting your hair and your nails done is your you time, fantastic. That's my me time. Um, when I sit down in the mornings to read my book, um, when I do my miracle mornings in the morning, which is basically when I get up and think about my day and visualize my day and do my affirmations, that's my me time. Um, yeah, it's my me time when I get my nails done, but sometimes if I'm getting my feet done, you know, I'm chatting with people on Facebook or texting with people, so you're not really taking your me time. Me time is when it's just you, yourself, that's it. Um, hi, Allie. So how often, anybody that's on this call, comment in the, in the chat, um, how often do you actually take me time? Maybe once a week, twice a week, once a day, zero. You need to make sure you stop and smell the roses and take the time to enjoy your life. Like, you know, yesterday I spoke about life and how it's not always rainbows and butterflies and how there's always obstacles and there's always things going on. But we can make it as close to rainbows and butterflies as we want. And by doing time for you and stopping and smelling the roses and doing things that actually make you happy is one of the steps to making your life rainbows and butterflies. You know, it is your life. So you need to live it and do it the way that you want to. Um, so for me, stopping and smelling the roses is, you know, like I said, lay, reading a book. My favorite me time is laying out in the lounge chair, which I was so hoping I was gonna to get to do today. I was gonna to bring my office outside and I was going to work outside. That's awesome, Renee, that you do it at least three times a week. That's great. Not many people do it that often. I'm like, I wanna tell you a story, okay? So it is not, and I want, you, I want you guys to know, it is not selfish to stop and smell the roses. It is not selfish to take time for yourself. And that's something that I had to learn because Anytime I ever wanted to do something for myself, whether it was getting my hair done and, and having and spending that expense of doing my hair or getting my nails done, I would always sit there and I caught myself doing it um, today too. I would sit there and be like, okay, well it costs this much, but I could take that money and I could spend it on this for Alex or this for Ryan or this for Kayla. But wait, what about me? I work really hard. So why not spend money on myself or why not go and do for me? So. It is not selfish to do for yourself. Like, if I would have never taken the choice to do for me and start what I started with Beachbody and start drinking the Shakeology, I wouldn't be where I am today. I would not be this changed Tanya. I love who I am today compared to who I used to be. And I wouldn't be this person if it wasn't for me doing what I originally thought was something selfish. Um, you know, I thought it was really selfish to spend money every month on a bag of powder for my shakes because 
I had children to take care of and I thought it was selfish to spend that money on me instead of spending it on them. You know, I could have spent that money on other things, things that they would need or, you know, more food for the house or whatever. Um, not that they went without food or anything, but you guys get what I'm saying. Hi, babe. Hi, Amy. So I just want you guys to know it is not selfish at all to do for ourselves. Now, if you only do for you and you don't do for anybody else, that's teetering on a little bit of selfishness. But if you do for others a lot and you don't do for yourself, you need to stop and smell those roses a little more often than you're doing right now. Um, so like I said, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have a team of 150 plus coaches and working with, you know, almost 600 customers if I was afraid to do something for myself. Um, I wouldn't have half the stuff I have. I probably would not be driving the car that I absolutely love. I definitely wouldn't be keeping up with my nails, which these are all mine. I could never grow my nails like this. I probably wouldn't have time for that. I wouldn't be able to go get my hair done, which I'm going to do tomorrow and I'm super excited about because this girl's making some changes on this hair. You know, so I wouldn't be able to do those things had I not decided that and reminded myself that it is not selfish to do something for myself. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna dip the shakes. Yes, I paid for them monthly, I paid 100 bucks a month, but you know what, I'm worth that 100 bucks a month. I work hard, and if that's all I want, then why not? It wasn't a lot in my book. So you have to take that time, guys. You really, really, really have to do for yourself. And like I said, don't be selfish and only do for you, but you need to add yourself into that list of people that you do things for. Add yourself into that list. Wow, that was some crazy lightning outside. Holy cow, it's gonna pour Florida weather every afternoon. I have Daisy down here shaking like the leaf because she hates thunder and lightning. Come here, Daisy. Sorry, guys, hold on, let me get her because she's scared. Um, so this is my, my scared puppy. She doesn't like thunder and lightning. Hi, Lisa. So, oh, now I lost my train of thought, sorry. But you need to add yourself into that list. Hi, baby. And you need to add yourself into that group of people that you want to spend your time with and you want to do things with. You are just as important as everybody else that you're taking care of on a daily basis. You have to make yourself most important. Daddy's saying hi to you, Daisy. Say hi to Daddy. Say hi, Daddy. Say drive safe, Daddy. Um, so you have to be the most important on that list. If you have your list of people you're caring for, you need to be on the top of that list. Because in all honesty, if you don't take the time for you, you're not gonna be the best you to take care of everybody else. Yeah, Lisa, it sucks, she hates the thunder and lightning. But you, you just, it's so important. And I don't want you to think that it's selfish at all. You need to take care of you. You need to make yourself important. You need, you guys can see her ear shaking. You need to make yourself as important as you're making everybody else. Because if you don't make yourself important and give yourself time for you, other people aren't gonna give time for you. Because you're showing them the importance that you're holding on yourself. You're showing them how they need to hold you in their life. So if you're not giving yourself the importance of doing some things for yourself, and realizing that it's not selfish because you work hard, you're just as important, so why not take care of yourself too and put yourself in the mix of all those people that you care for. And this was something that was very hard for me to grasp and hard for me to do because I always thought it was the most selfish act ever to do for myself. Now I'm learning it's not. I have to take care of myself. You know, how, my ladies on here, how awesome does it feel when you're done getting your nails done and you're done getting your hair done? You feel like a freaking model, like you're ready to walk the runway or something. You just feel, it's just that amazing feeling that comes over you. Why not feel that way a couple times a month when you get your nails done and a couple times every other month to get your hair done? What's wrong with that? Where is the harm in that and where is the selfishness in that? I want somebody to tell me where the selfishness is. Now, granted, if you really don't have the money to do those things and you're like, okay, it's either get my hair done or pay the FPL bill and you decide to get your hair done, we need to talk priorities. But if you, all your finances are in line, if you don't have money, you can still do things for yourself. Laying out in a lounge chair and having some quiet time to yourself doesn't cost a thing. Riding down to the beach and sitting on the beat on the sand for a little while it doesn't cost you any money to sit there It costs you the money gas to get there unless you live close enough to ride a bike, but you guys get my drift 
Time for yourself doesn't have to be spending money. It could be doing anything. Going to church and having some alone time with you and God. That's something for you, isn't it? You've got to take time to stop and smell the roses and enjoy you in your life as well. That's so important. So, so important. I just, I can't tell you enough how important that is. And I was so miserable when I wasn't doing that. And now that I've made my, wow, can you guys hear that thunder? It is going to pour. It's okay, Daisy. It's going to pour. It's a perfect movie day. Maybe I'll take my desk over to the TV and watch a movie while I work. Um, but just make sure you guys, make sure you make yourself just as important to everybody else. You guys are important to me. You should be important to yourself too. So that's all I wanted to tell you was to stop and smell the roses today. Comment below in this message thread either if you've already stopped and smelled the roses today and you've just stepped back and you've taken a look at your life and you're just so grateful and thankful for a lot of things in it. Post below how you stopped and smelled the roses today and what you did for you. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I promise tomorrow I will be on at 1230. Today I was a little off on my time but I will be back on time tomorrow. Bye guys.